Uh, in this video, I want to share uh, a small or short tutorial about how I structure um, REST APIs and controllers uh, for REST APIs in the Sprung uh, boot application. Uh, this is this structure that I will share in a second is something I started using quite recently, uh, and I quite like it because it is something between um, very like between no structure at all and 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 uh, and more advanced structure like when you have a hexagonal architecture and then you have a lot of conversions a lot of layers uh, and package structure so in in this one i have some i i think i have some kind of middle ground which helps me to uh, to have uh, some organizations uh, some organization uh, in, in my package structure but also uh, it gives me um, uh, option uh, to extend it in future. So for example, if my uh, business logic is getting more and more complicated, I can uh, split it into more, more uh, structure the um, uh, design. So let, let me first show uh, what I mean uh, by REST API. So in this case, uh, I have very simple ping pong API. Um, it's like it's really uh, one endpoint uh, which accepts a JSON payload. Uh, so the payload is also like uh, quite simple, uh, only two fields, and we return uh, another JSON uh, object. Um, so point is like in, in, as part of this tutorial, point is not like what's your payload, but uh, like in general how you can structure your uh, controller. So what I have done for this uh, example, um, and then I, basically what's my proposal and what I, I like using, uh, so we split it in three uh, uh, layers, uh, and and then, by, by the way, it, this is not something like uh, inventing a real. Like it, it is something probably a lot of people uh, using in, in one or another way, um, and in this approach, it is just like avoiding having a lot of uh, models uh, for each layer so like i think this is for me this at least is this is main uh, selling point and um, what i have here is on a, on a lowest level we have uh, entity model which is also used as a like a database table so in this model you uh, you can put all uh, all the fields like i think this should be um uh, this model should be designed uh, with database efficiency in, in mind. Um, so in, in, in this example, it's if it's a ping pong, uh, I have uh, things like source, like who's called, uh, and a version of the caller and version of the server. So that's why this is all in one model. And we will see that in the business layer, uh, I split these two into the, like ping and pong is, is two different things. Uh, but on entity layer, we can keep them uh, as a one object, one entity. Then on top of it, we have a repository interface which defines um, operations on this table, on this uh, model, on this entity la uh, model. Um, I don't have anything uh, specific here, at least now, for now. And it just ex uh, extends a GPI repository, meaning that we have basic operations in place. Um, and on top of this uh, entity layer, like one layer up is, is a service layer. So in the service layer, main uh, item is probably service itself. So service has reference to the repository. Since service uh, defines its own models, um, we have also mapper to translate between um, service models to the entity models uh, and backward in this case i don't have um i have only uh business layer uh, models converted to entity um but but you can also have the opposite uh in the same mapper um but the main point here is um as i mentioned also before we have uh one um, model or dto data transfer object uh, for input in this case and one for output it, you don't have to design it like input output it can also be uh, uh, like DTOs with some um, uh, com complex objects within them so you might have you might end up having like more entities 
and at least in my case i plan to have if, if like if i have a lot of models uh, on the service layer i can introduce a new package also called the model and this will be specifically service models and then they are exposed using details um in, in my opinion this keeps it a bit simpler and on top of this service layer i have controller which directly uses this details spring details uh and, and, and pong details as an input and output so this is also um quite arguable uh, i think uh because like for the simple use cases it works um but again if i see uh, for some controllers or for, for some business logic uh this is very too simple uh, i can extend but but for to start this is enough right um so, and then on this ping DTO, I have also validation. So you can also, um, like if I have any validation uh, or, or even like scheme definition, I can also put it on, on this model, on this record. Um, and then for now, this would be okay. Um, and uh, one more thing to mention. So one minimal uh, structure here is, so this uh, controller repository and service, they are top level packages. So you have ping pong uh, logic. I will have at least three ping pong package, one in controller, one in repository and one in service. And as I mentioned, uh, I am quite open to, to that, that if I have a, a bit more complicated requests and response models, I can also add them to this controller ping pong dot model, for example. Um, yeah, I think that's it. Let me know in comments if you, um, yeah, if you, uh, what do you think about this approach? Uh, Probably there is way better approaches, uh, and I think it depends on uh, on on your plans for the project. For this project, I plan to have uh, quite some controllers, and and I don't want to have a lot of uh, overhead in terms of like converting one uh, models from one layer to another layer. It always takes some some time, and it's quite error prone. So you can you might miss some fields in conversion. Um, so for simple use case, I think this works. Let me know what you think.